No one likes a cloudy swimming pool. And today, we're gonna go over the top five causes of why pools can go cloudy. So let's begin. We're gonna rule out the usual suspects like these and simply stick with the most common causes. First is our chemistry. We should take our chemical readings twice per week with a good test kit. I always use and recommend the Taylor K2006 kit, but test trips are also good for weekly maintenance. Just make sure you take a sample of water to your local pool store to make doubly sure your chemicals are in line. Chlorine should be kept at two to four parts per million. pH is 7.2 to 7.8. Your alkalinity is 80 to 120 parts per million. Calcium hardness is two to 400 parts per million. And your stabilizer or CYA is 30 to 50 parts per million with salt pools going up to 70 parts per million. Number two is the overuse of calcium hypochlorite. This kind of chlorine works really well for weekly maintenance, but as the name implies, it does contain calcium and overuse and shocking too often can cause the water to become cloudy. If you need to shock your pool, it's best to use liquid chlorine. Number three on our list is our filtration system. This includes the valves, motor, pump pot, as well as a filter. We wanna make sure everything is tight and not leaking. For DE filters, I suggest taking them apart every six months and cleaning and inspecting the grids. Look for holes, rips, tears, and replace any grids that are damaged. If you close your pool, give the grids a good once over when you open your pool. Now the same goes for cartridge filters. If the cartridge has any rips or tears, toss it away and replace it with a new one. For sand filters, you'll want to inspect the sand every five to seven years and top it off if needed. If it's hardened or if the sand isn't filtering the way it should, it might be time to change it. Number four is low chlorine or low sanitizer levels. Make sure you're using fresh chlorine and keep it out of direct sunlight. Low salt levels in pools can also cause this as well. If the salinity in your pool is not at the right level, the chlorine cell won't produce any chlorine, which can cause your pool to go cloudy. A good baseline for liquid chlorine for a 20,000 gallon pool would be to add one half to three quarters gallons of chlorine per week to maintain the correct chlorine level of two to four parts per million, or 16 ounces of calcium hypochlorite per week. You can start there and then make adjustments based on your pool's needs. And number five on our list is an early sign of an algae bloom. Let's hope this isn't it. If it is, I'll leave a link below to a video I did on how to clear up your green or cloudy pool. An algae bloom can sometimes happen, but if it does, you'll be armed with the knowledge on the best way to tackle the issue. Those are the five most common causes of why your pool can go cloudy.